So you want to talk about carbohydrate adaptation versus fat adaptation. Carbohydrate is what your body runs on. Carbohydrate exclusively is going to feed your brain cells. Okay. You should be eating your vegetables too, but I'm carbohydrate adapted athlete. I eat a high carb diet, right? So like the last bike ride of 2013, 2015, you know, you go for like four hours on the bicycle, right? As long as I'm eating adequate sugar and keeping my power at a reasonable level, not overdoing it, I can go for six hours on the bicycle. There's no way I could do that if I was eating fat, if I was eating high fat type of supplements. I can't even think what people eat. So let's say, let's say I was doing avocado. You can take a look at my avocado video on, on my main channel. There's just, I was hungry. You just, you, I don't, I, I don't metabolize fat that way. I can't take a fat and metabolize it. Now there is fat metabolism for people who have long-term cycling. You teach your body to metabolize fat, but that's a different story. And they do that by actually doing long, slow, drawn out rides where they're not eating carbohydrates. So their body, they teach their body to metabolize fat. But they're not pushing hard. You push hard without carbohydrates and you're not fat adapted, which I'm not even sure how much of that I agree with, you're going to blow up. I mean, you're going to bonk is what I mean by blow up. Okay. So I can go for six hours on the bicycle if I'm eating sugars. Now I had a 53, it was like a 53 mile bike ride. A pretty big ride for me. Um, hopefully increase my mileage in 2016. I knew I needed to stop for sugars. I knew I had to stop. Stop and get a vegan cliff bar. Stop and get some vegan sports drinks, some sugars. As long as you get the sugars in there, you're not gonna you're not gonna bonk, you're not gonna cramp. You can keep the electrolytes up, keep the keep the hydration up, keep the calories up and the high carbohydrate calories. For example, we're climbing low angle mountaineering on Mount Shasta. Okay. So we're going up, we're going up Clear Creek, Clear Creek route. We step off at about 1230 in the morning. We're back to the car at 4 p.m. the next, or that same day, but at 4 p.m. So that's, that's 16 hours of cardio. Um, that's a lot of cardio. 16 hours of cardio. And your legs... Your legs are feeling it. Your legs are tired, but they've been aerobic and they've been using sugar. And I, for myself, I've kind of figured out that if I eat about 100 to 150 calories of simple sugars every hour or every 45 minutes to an hour, that I can keep a moderately paced aerobic activity at a moderate to high level of strength. Uh, of strain okay and that's at altitude there's no way I'd be doing that if I was taking fat supplementation so I like now this I'm not a doctor not medical advice but I like carbohydrate adaption my body likes carbohydrates so I eat a low fat high carbohydrate diet and then when I'm physically exerting my body's ready to receive those carbohydrates so I, I think that people should explore this thought of a high carb, low fat, moderate to low protein diet with premium proteins being from whole grains, legumes, and greens, leafy greens. Check it out.